let's know about routing in angular and what is actually a routing in general so angular creates a one page application what does it mean so in angular actually all the content which we see on our page is actually everything is just one page so imagine if you are on a facebook and you're watching some video and you also want to see a comment you click on more comments or the comments button that does not refreshes the whole page just to get the data about the comments on that particular video so that is something like one page application the particular section which we were interested got updated where else everything remained same that helped us to save data on reloading otherwise we would have to uh, send the whole data about the video back to the client and that would make the whole system slow so in angular we have this only one page application whatever we need gets loaded and reloaded uh, but everything else remains static and that's why it gives a better performance and a fast results. Let's uh, know how can we actually then create routing. Routing means particular link for a particular page. Imagine if you have a website and there are different pages like one for registration, one for shopping cart, one for new users, one for forgetting the password and blah, blah. There can be tens of hundreds of pages in your uh, in your website. Then uh, they have a unique URL for everyone. Every page has a new and a unique URL. Then how can we actually create that when we are saying our Angular is just one page application? How can we create 10 and hundreds of pages in a website when our whole website is just one app, one page? So we create something called routing. So in Angular, you can specify with what link, with what name, which part you want to show to the whole page. Let's go back to our code and we'll try to display both our components with different links and then we'll understand how we can use that to create multiple pages in our website. So let's go back to our code. And here in our app folder in source, there is a, a file named app routing module.ts. Let's click on that. Here we have a constant route of type routes equals to this empty array. So all we need to do is we need to add objects here which are of type uh, which are actually telling for what name which component should we show so let's create two routes by giving two objects here so uh, inside this object we need to give two things one is path and the other one is the component we want to show so the after the path it we need to give exactly the name which we want uh, something like uh, our website name slash it may be login it may be register it may be shopping cart so that that name which comes after this particular slash we need to specify that uh, text here that string here so let's say with uh, our website address slash first we want to display just the first component and with slash uh, second, we just want to display the second component. So after path, we need to give first. And after component, we need to give the name of the, our first component, which is first component. And it also click on the one which automatically imports it. So we have this one object created. Let's similarly uh, create the second one with the path is equals to second and in our component it is second component and also import it at the same time let's save of uh, save it and then 
let's try to go to our page and let's refresh our page and when we try uh, okay let's just see in our second component we just have uh, that second work here till all these 10 names so let's try to go to second now we see there's nothing actually we are on just the same page so we actually need to do one more thing and that is we need to get, uh, go to our parent html page which is app component.html here we have these uh, selectors which are actually selecting the two components first we need to hide each of them because now we are using route to display the components rather than directly calling them here so now we uh, we must add router outlet and an angular html element which controls whatever should be displayed here so now when we'll go uh, back to our page and then we specify the link that router outlet will replaced by the app first component or the app second component so this is how the angular makes it work so let's try to go to our page now and let's try to go to first we see there is no second component there is just a first component let's try to go to second we only see second works there is and the other 10 names there is no uh, first component so with each link now we can actually go to that particular component but when we go to our local host 420 website there is no page because we did not define anything when there is nothing after a slash that's why it's showing nothing because it does not know which component to show in that case then to solve this we must go back here and there are two ways which we can do first either we can just add a new path which says when there is nothing then also show maybe only the first component let's go back and we can see when there's nothing it's still showing the component first because that is what we wanted when there's nothing after the local address then show the first component but here we are actually repeating ourselves we need not to do this we can just refer this component as we can use redirect to and then we can specify the link which was slash first and when uh, it should go when there is a full path match so path match equals to full so here i'm saying when there's nothing after a slash or there's even not a slash redirect to the slash first and what is at slash first at slash first we have component first and when should we go when there's a full path match path match is full which means uh, there is nothing exactly nothing after our main local web local address so let's try to go back to our local address and see it redirects to ourselves back to the first website slash first because we said to redirect it to slash first and we see the first page but what if a person writes something extra like we have only defined it for first second what if person tries to reach third slash third we see nothing that is something which we don't want if a person tries to go to some url which is not defined we can actually make that uh, using a wild card so let's say when there is nothing or there's a new thing which we have not defined yet 
and some person types that after slash then we must show that no you are at wrong page if you are suggesting uh, if you have you have typed it wrong you can go to our local page or, or if we want to show them 404 error that this URL does not exist or we can just redirect them to the first component showing them that you have you are on the wrong page this is our home page so when we don't know exactly what the input would be we use this wild cards what are this exactly we create a new object here and in the path we give two stars these two stars indicate the it's a variable input this can be anything and if this can be anything and in that case it it should go to second component so let's try to go back to our page and let's try to go to slash third now even if it's slash third the url stays at slash third but the content which we see is the co component second but note that this wild card uh, path should be added at the end otherwise it will uh, if we add it at the top or somewhere in between it will accept every form of input so if we place it above first so let's try to place it above first and then go to a local host 420 slash first even then we are only getting to the second component because that wildcard input it will take anything and because it's defined above the first it's taking place there and it sees that okay first is also anything so we should go to second component so that's why we should always keep it at the bottom so that it does not interfere with all the things which we actually want it to go to so just keep it at the end and our page will work fine so this is how actually we have routing in angular let's have a small recap so when we go to http slash localhost 420 slash uh, maybe the component to one page or the component two page we get different result according to which uh, we have defined what should come after this slash uh, after this localhost address then the string which comes after the slash is connected to some component and that connection is made inside the routes by giving objects with two uh, which with two inputs one is path and the other one is component 